Thank you for your time uh, being on our YouTube channel. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Birmingham in England. Are you here as a tourist? Yeah, uh, yeah I'm here on holiday. How many days do you have in Japan? Uh, it's almost two weeks in Osaka in Kyoto. and Kyoto. Okay. And is this your first time in Japan? Yeah, this is my first time. Uh, my girlfriend's been in Oh, really? Um, she's, she's been to Tokyo. Mm. Uh, this is my first time here. In Japan. Is there any, like, a specific purpose uh, for why you uh, come to Japan um, to visit? Yeah. It's our, our, our couple anniversary, oh. so we're just traveling to celebrate that. But mm -hmm. um, we just wanted to come to Japan because we, we like Japanese video games and oh, I TV see. shows. So uh, we wanted to come here and just um, see the culture, I guess, uh, and do uh, a lot of touristy stuff. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And go see the castle. So far, how do you like it? I love it. Yeah, yeah, I love it. It's um, it's uh, it's very different to England, and I think that's why I like it so much. It's so like, mm -hmm. it's like a whole new world, basically. Is there any like differences that you can point out, like interesting differences or surprising? Yeah, uh, any detail is okay. Yeah, just mostly how um, everything runs so much better here than in, in England. I think so much uh, the infrastructure. So much oh. better. Mm. Like um, toilets and stuff in the UK are really dirty and everything's quite oh. dirty and run down, whereas here it's like very well cared for. I see. It get together well. Um, and then also like the, the historical landmarks and stuff like that. Uh -huh. um, in the UK we have like a similar sort of like old history, uh -huh. but here it seems to be much more um, like celebrated. Mm. I see. How about like Japanese food? Have you uh, enjoyed Japanese yeah, food? Yeah, Try? yeah, we've been trying to have as much Japanese food, uh -huh. authentic Japanese food okay. as possible. Um, everything we've had we've liked so far. Yeah. What is your favorite food? Uh, we had okonomiyaki, uh -huh. which we really liked. Um, we had sushi this morning. Uh -huh. Uh, but that was probably my favorite so far. Wow. And how about raw egg? Have you? Uh, I've not had it, no. Yeah. In, in your uh, culture, you don't eat raw, right? No, yeah, raw is, is very rare that we have raw food in uh -huh. general in our culture. Everything's kind of cooked. Yeah. Um, I don't eat meat as well, so it's. it's oh, you're a vegetarian? Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, I see. That's like one of the reasons. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But yeah, raw food in general is quite rare in England. Mm. Definitely. The sushi is uh, okay. Yeah, sushi. <laughs> Um, uh -huh. So I just have like a vegetarian version of it. Oh, vegetarian. But, I mean, we have like sushi and stuff in England, but it's, mm. it's not as good. Yeah. yeah. What was the the first contact with Japanese culture? You said like the anime or something? Anime, like? yeah, Death Note. Oh. Um, and what did you see? Yeah, like uh, Death Note, probably Death Note, Dragon Ball Z. Oh. Just like different anime. I see. And then like video games. Like Resident mm -hmm. Evil, uh, Silent Hill, games oh. like So those are pretty popular yeah. there. And have you been to Tokyo already? I've, I've not been to Tokyo. Yeah. Um, the only only Osaka. Osaka. Uh, but we're going to Kyoto uh -huh. uh, tomorrow. What are you expecting to see in like a, in your total like a, a trip uh, in Japan? Well, tomorrow we're going to do the bamboo forest mm -hmm. in Kyoto. In Kyoto. And the, uh, the Golden Temple. Uh-huh. And then... Um, I think we're just going to do like samurai museums and stuff like that. Samurai museum in yeah. Kyoto? Yeah, Kyoto. Oh. Is that a Uzumasa? I'm not sure. Oh, do you know about uh, like an old style Japanese like a, a movie studio? Uh, that yeah. is called uh, Uzumasa. Okay. <laughs> so they're shooting. Uh, oh, maybe. Yeah. yeah, the movies and the dramas. Uh, oh, cool. You know, like old style, like this kind of yeah, 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 style. Yeah, yeah like Kurosawa. I thought you were uh, talking about that, but yeah, maybe yeah. not sure. Uh, no, okay. that's something I'd like to see. Yeah, oh, so you like history then? Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Then are you gonna go to like a Himeji castle and stuff? We're gonna go to more of the temples. But, yeah, definitely. If there's a castle, we'll, we'll try and see it. It's like a, a national heritage. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Himeji, like a white castle. It's pretty, very beautiful. Oh, so cool. I recommend. Recommend it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. How about Nara area? We went to Nara yesterday. Oh, yesterday? Uh, we uh -huh. saw the, the deer forest. Uh -huh. Yeah. The... We had the mochi. Oh, yeah. mo mochi. 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 It's like a uh, very soft, like a watery mochi. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Mm. It was really good. Yeah. I think it's a, like a, a local food, probably. Yeah. 
Mm. Yeah, it's hard to get that in England. Mm. Mochi. Oh, it's easy to get like sushi. Uh huh. For getting stuff like the okonomiyaki and stuff like that, you can't really get in England. Uh huh. So we wanted to try it and actually have like the authentic experience over here. Mm. Is there any like a Japanese culture or thing or anything uh, you would like to bring back to your country if possible? Yeah. Just how um, like when you go into the city, how like bright and colorful it is. Mm. In uh, England, everything's very dreary, very grey, oh. cold looking. Mm. Um, not always, but that's why I really like about going into like uh, Dotonbori, oh. where everything's so bright. I see. Stuff like that. I think. Uh -huh. That's why I've been the most kind of impressed by so far. Uh, Have you been to yeah. Dotonbori? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, went there, we went there day one. Oh, okay. I thought that it's it's a pretty no noisy yeah. in the area. But. It's it's yeah it's, it is, but that's quite uh, unique, uh, uh, rare different from yeah. Rare, yeah. Uh, different. Okay, it's not really a, a serious stuff, but uh, I've heard of, uh, Coca Cola uh, in England is a pretty the good compared to other countries. Like, yeah. uh, I've heard the like, Mexican is the, <laughs> the better, and the England was the yeah. second. Did you? Have, have you ever felt the differences or those um, kind of things? Mexican's better than England. Uh, Japan's better than England. Because oh. in England we have no sugar. Um, There's no sugar in anything. Oh, I see. Because the artificial sugar, thing? It's artificial, but also sugar is, is taxed heavily oh, in oh, England. Oh, really? So if you want sugary drinks, you have to pay loads of money. Mm -hmm. um, so the Japanese version's better because oh, it's really? sugary. Oh, okay. Uh, Mexican version is better than that because it's loads of sugar. Uh, oh, so it, it's a um, it's a matter of the sugar then, probably. Like yeah. how they make yeah. the sweet with the sweetener yeah. or sugar. Yeah. Uh, that's very interesting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is there like, any like, comment uh, you can make to the like a viewer who is watching this video and maybe just thinking about going to Japan but uh, like hesitating to go? Um, uh, yeah, I'd say go to Osaka. I think people overlook Osaka. Uh -huh. It was so much cheaper for us to come here oh. than it was for us to go to Tokyo. Um, you mean so the flight tickets? Flights, yeah. yeah. Oh. So I'd say look into going to, going to Osaka because it's really cool here. And even though, like you might think Tokyo, uh, when you first think of Japan, Osaka's uh -huh. really nice, pretty, there's loads of great um, touristy attractions and then loads of cool like, city attractions. Mm -hmm. This time you have two weeks in yep. Japan. Would you like to come back to yeah, Japan? Yeah, yeah, I'd like to come back for even longer. Which part are you now interested to go? Uh, I'd like to go to um, Tokyo. Tokyo? Uh, and then maybe like the more southern regions. Southwest, kind of, like yeah, a Kyushu yeah. area? Yeah, yeah. Mm. And then maybe like Okinawa. Uh, well, thank you so much for no, your time. You. It yeah. was very fun talking thank to you. Thank you. Toronto. Yeah. Okay. Are you traveling in Japan? Yeah. What brought you to Japan? What is your purpose to come to Japan? Uh, we've been to Japan a few times, so this is oh, like okay. our third time together. Yeah. Um, we just really enjoy it here, like the food, the culture, okay. shopping. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, which place is have you ever been in Japan? Uh, we were in Tokyo before coming to Sendai. Okay. How do your impression of Japan have changed since you arrived? Uh, no, I mean, I came like five years ago, so it's uh, not okay. too, too different, but I mean, Sendai, I guess, is our first time coming, so uh, okay. pretty interesting to in the city. Okay, well, what did you eat in Sendai? You just arrived? Uh, we came yesterday. Okay. We just tried beef tongue, so that was really oh, okay. good. Yeah. Uh, did you try sushi? Not yet. Uh, not yet. Not yet. Are you we're, sure? waiting, we're waiting to go to Hokkaido to oh, eat okay. sushi. For sushimi at the fish markets. You are gonna go Hokkaido live from now? Uh, we're gonna go in a few days, yeah. Uh, okay. First time to Hokkaido. Okay. Uh, where are you gonna go after Hokkaido? Uh, we're gonna go back to Tokyo and then fly back to Toronto. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a long trip, but it'll be okay. good. <laughs> uh, how long are you gonna stay in Hokkaido? How about a week. Okay, a week. Okay. You are gonna skiing? Uh, I want to, uh, yeah. but uh, we're going with a bunch of family, so okay. they don't ski. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, so I don't want to go by myself. That, that wouldn't be fun. <laughs> oh, okay. What are the major differences between Japan and Canada? 
a lot of differences. Yeah. Uh, I would say definitely transit's a lot easier here. Yeah. In Canada, we have to drive everywhere. The weather, I guess, is kind of similar. We also have winter and okay. fall and autumn and spring, so I guess that part's similar. But I would say the food here is definitely a lot better. <laughs> yeah. uh, how is the temperature in, in Toronto now? Right now it would be around the same because it's winter. Okay. Yeah, so probably yeah. around anywhere between negative five to like zero. Uh, yeah. Okay. I think lately it's around negative five. Okay. Yeah. Which do you like, winter or summer? I like both. I like uh, winter because I like to snowboard with uh, my friends, yeah. but yeah. Uh, summer is just I like hot weather, so I like summer. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Have you traveled to country other than Japan? Yeah. Which country? Uh, a bunch of different countries. I've been to Malaysia, Hong Kong, okay. China, America, Cuba. How was Cuba? Cuba was good. It was uh, warm. Uh, <laughs> Lots of beaches. Uh, beaches? Yeah, beaches. Yeah. That's good. How about China? You been to China? Right? Yeah, a long time ago. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what did I, you like, do? It was just to eat and meet up with family, so okay. nothing, nothing crazy. <laughs> uh, okay. Actually, I, I want to go to, to Cuba. Oh, Cuba. Cuba. Okay. Uh, what message would you like to share with people who are considering visiting Japan? Yeah. I guess just, in, I guess prepare for transit first to like plan uh, okay. to get around. But other than that, I think it's fun to just walk around and roam the streets. Yeah. Like I always like to just explore i don't really have a plan sometimes i just walk around and see what's fun to look at yeah. so i think that's kind of the best part for japan for me uh which places would you like to go next visiting gifu gifu yeah why i guess i want to visit like takayama and like oh, okay. the shira kind of go oh, yeah shira i want to go visit there next time yeah uh, okay how about okinawa probably one day but one yeah day. i want to visit gifu first okay <laughs> You came to Japan a lot of time, right? A few times. Uh, okay. Uh, which places have you ever been? I went to Osaka, Kyoto, Nara, Kobe, Hiroshima, Mijiyama. Yes. Oh, you've been to many places yeah. more than me. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> What did you do in Osaka and Kyoto? Uh, a lot of eating. <laughs> uh, eating? Yeah, I like to look at like shrines and temples, so, uh, so I really like Kyoto. I uh, also went to like Arashiyama for like the bamboo forest, so that was really pretty. Yeah. Uh, you tried green tea in, in Kyoto? Uh, yes. Uh, how was it? It was good. Okay. Yeah. I don't okay. think I've really had any like bad food in uh, Japan, okay. so yeah, everything's been really good. <laughs> uh, you don't have like you know how bad food in Japan? Not often. Like maybe uh, like one or two not amazing meals, but like everything else usually pretty good. If you bring back something from Japan to Canada, what would it be? Anything what okay, menta food? Yeah, usually we just buy a lot of snacks for my friends. Like just Japanese candy or like uh, some gifts from the shrine. So we do have those as souvenirs. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, what is your favorite snack in Japan? Do you remember our name? That is a hard question. I yes. like all snacks. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, my backpack is already full of like Japanese <laughs> candies right now. I don't think I have a favorite, but I, I like to try everything. <laughs> uh, okay. Do you like drinking alcohol? Uh, not so much. I'm not uh, okay. really much of a drinker. Have you tried in Japanese beer or? Uh, I think I tried once. Okay. I'm not the biggest fan. Yeah. Like last time I came with my dad and my brother, they, they like to try different beers, but I'm not really much of an alcohol drinker. What do you want to try next BBT in Japan? I definitely do want to come back one day to Hokkaido again to okay. go snowboarding. Yeah. Not this time, but yeah. hopefully in the future with some friends so yeah. I don't have to go by myself. Yeah, that's yeah. good. That's one day. Good. One day. <laughs> yeah. What is the impression of the people in Japan? Uh, I feel like everyone's very nice, very polite. Uh, yeah, I think it's great here. Well, uh, what is the different people uh, between Japan and Canada? I would say Canada is a bit more passive aggressive. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they don't really follow the rules as much here, I think. Yeah, that would probably be the biggest difference. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're going to go in Hokkaido, uh, uh, but not yet. All right, oh, thank thanks, you. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for your time uh, with us on our YouTube channel. Uh, where are you from? Uh, Barcelona, Spain. Uh, you're here as a tourist? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, is this first time in Japan? Uh, yeah, for me, yeah. Uh, no, it's my third time. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> this time, what brought you to Japan? Uh, I like being here, I like coming here. Uh, I've been uh, studying Japanese, so I wanted to come back. Brought a friend <laughs> for uh, the first time, so uh, okay. because he, he wanted to know it too, so it was easier. 
you, you're not studying Japanese. No, 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 no. no I don't just to see this. Uh, uh, okay. Did you have a certain image about Japan before coming to Japan? Uh, yeah, maybe from, from movies or from video games, you have a sort, sort of an idea of the cultural idea of, of Japan. Mm-hmm. But uh, when you're here, like, it's uh, very different from, from the conception that you had before. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, how different? It's because all. I think the way that people think and, and how they uh, all the cultural is, uh, stuff is like very different from what we have in in, in Europe. So, oh. so the whole idea is like the opposite in, in some ways. So oh really? Yeah. Mm. Do you uh, agree? That? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mostly, and uh-huh. I think uh, there is a lot of uh, people think that all Japanese people is the same, and it's very different if you go to Kanazawa or if you come to yeah. Osaka or if you come go to Tokyo. It's very uh-huh. different, and uh-huh. old people and young people are very different. So there are differences even in the Japanese. Uh, mm. So, oh, then in your country, Japanese, Japan or Japanese are introduced as a very uh, solid one. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. Then, yeah, I think mm-hmm. it's it's the same for mm-hmm. Japanese people who come to Spain, for example. Mm-hmm. They they might think, okay, people from Barcelona is the same as people from Madrid or from Seville, and, and they are very different. And I mm-hmm. think in Japan it happens the same. When when we were in Tokyo, it was like uh, something else, and, yeah, and Kanazawa yeah. is like they're very really different. Uh-huh. Now in Osaka, so yeah. Uh, then did, did you get some culture shock or surprising uh-huh. thing? Yeah, there are like many small things that are yeah, very, that's, very different. Yeah, that's I want to hear, the small thing. Uh, when people go to eat, it's like they go very fast. They go oh, yeah, eat yeah, yeah, yeah. and Ooh. then leave the restaurant. And in Spain, I for see, example, see, we see. say we do what is after eating, we take the coffee and then talk and everything. And here is like much fast, faster. So you that's, can be that's like two like hours a, eating. Yeah. In Spain, it's like two hours and here is like you come, you eat, you go. <laughs> and yeah. we are like, we're talking after eating. So that's... Uh, that's that's different. Especially the businessmen, like uh, the, yeah. the workers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And the time we just eat like our ramen uh-huh. and take our beer or whatever, uh-huh. there are three salaryman that have yes. come and gone, you know, and, uh-huh. and eaten. It's, mm. it's, it's, oh. it's something, especially yeah, not mm. on weekends. It's, I think it's a little bit different. Yeah, especially the ramen shop. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. they want they want to you know. They want it to be fast. To yeah. be fast. Yeah, I see. So, so, so it's the small things and and like mm-hmm. people, it's like very organized when they are going walking mm-hmm. through the street. It's not like in Spain, but in a way, like more efficiently, and they are like, if we go, everyone, if we go like this, it's uh-huh. going to be better for everyone. Mm-hmm. In Spain, it's a little bit more, more chaotic, I think, mm-hmm. more chaotic. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Yeah. You said you're learning Japanese. Yeah. Why did you start to learn Japanese? <laughs> Why did you start? It's, it's not an original answer. I started like some years ago because I was an anime fan. Oh, anime. A manga fan. And it was like it sounded good. Mm-hmm. And after I started, it, it was like I really like I, I like uh, I studied uh, languages. Other languages. It's like my, like I know. So it's like. I found it very interesting, and the kanji were very interesting for me. Uh, uh, even dif- even if difficult to learn, uh-huh. it was something that made me understand the the, uh, the language better. And the last time I came, which mm-hmm. was in uh, 2017, oh. COVID and oh, everything, right. I was like, I want to come back and be able to talk to people and to um, find my way into uh, less known places like it's easier if you know uh, if you know the language to just even even eat if you go into into a small soba shop we went mm. today and everything was in japanese everything uh-huh. was, even uh-huh. even the numbers uh-huh. were in kanji uh-huh. and i was like if uh, it was very fast so i, I was like <laughs> what does it say because something is difficult uh-huh. but i think you you get to know better the country if you know a little bit of the language even if not you are not able to talk a lot. Uh-huh. I think it's good if you come here, being able to talk a little bit with people. Mm. No, I think it's not only good. I think it's necessary because uh, most of Japanese people don't speak English. Uh-huh. They, it's it's like they are very friendly, and if you they, uh, you try to make them understand that what you want to do, mm-hmm. they they do everything they can to help you, but they don't speak the language. <laughs> so so for people who come abroad, it's like very different, and because. The language is so different that you cannot you you can hear a word and you have no idea what they're mm. saying. So right, right. so yeah, I think it if helps. you come to to Japan, you need to go with 
someone who knows mm -hmm. at, at least a little bit of Japanese because if not, it's like uh, very, very difficult to be around here. So you, you can mm -hmm. navigate Japan without knowing anything, but you won't be able to go uh, anything like uh, Tokyo is easier. And but if yeah. you try to go to like here, I think it's talk very less, like le way mm. less. And mm. you can come, but it's it's better if you yeah. just know a little bit or you know if you can't talk like to make a reservation mm -hmm. or a lot of a lot of places it's a little bit difficult if not and especially knowing those letters might uh, help you much better yeah, mm. like yeah. You. because uh -huh. the um, of course like now there is technology like you can go to google and take the picture of the kanjis and it will uh -huh. tell you uh -huh. more or less what it says uh -huh. But it's it's faster, like right, you know, right. this is not this is mm. this is not where do we have to go. We have to go today. Is like dashi gashi. Let's go, uh -huh. and and helps a lot. Uh, or I was what is this? Like that's that's meat. Uh -huh. That's meat. Let's yeah. go. It's easier like uh -huh. that. Or even even just hiragana will help uh -huh. you. Like even the the last knowing to read a little bit will help you. Uh -huh. Kanji, I know it's a, it's difficult, but mm. it helps. Well, this is not now your character came with her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was the idea. Yeah. So if not, I would be lost. So, uh, b besides a ramen shop, mm -hmm. uh, what kind of food do you like? I, yeah. I tried to. I wanted to try everything that I could. Uh, there are some kinds of seafish and and some stuff like that that I don't like, and, and I didn't try that. But I tried sushi. I tried uh, uh, fried uh, meat. Uh, Japan, um, takoyaki, takoyaki okay. uh, almost everything and it's like really good it, it's uh, uh, one of the things that impressed me most about this trip in, in Japan is uh, how good you can eat and how cheap it is oh it's like really cheap I see so yeah it's great wow. I'm curious what you didn't like <laughs> well, what you don't like about the Japanese food what it's hard to what I don't like about Japanese food. Mm -hmm. Well, from what I tried, I, I like everything. But, uh. but there's there's some kinds of uh, sea fish and stuff that because of the texture, I, I don't like. I, I oh. we, we eat it too in, in Spain, for example, uh -huh. and I don't like it there. Uh -huh. Any, but but yeah. Oh, I, I find it difficult that uh, usually it's not it's not that usual here to ask about like please do this without something. Like usually it's very because it's very fast. Uh -huh. Usually you ask for hmm. the for the plate and it's not so usual so, so usual to say like uh, don't put negi or don't put uh, tamanegi or whatever. It's uh -huh. you can do it, uh -huh. but it's so fast that usually you you don't have the time. And I I'm uh, sometimes I'm a little bit picky and I would like to say, but it's like you know it's going to be there. It's okay. It's okay. I don't want to to. In Spain, it's easier to ask. Yeah. Like, mm. uh, yeah, it's very easy and it's very usual to ask up without it. And here, it's a little bit different. Mm. Like so the plate comes with a plate. And that's uh -huh. that's my 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 experience. Or so you you just uh, put put aside if you don't like it. That yeah. kind of style. Yeah. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> and it's a little bit like it's not I don't like it. It's like, or sometimes I don't. But, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I find I find that. Uh, like you can ask for it, but usually I don't bother. Uh, we, when in Spain, I bother. Hmm. In oh, Spain, yeah. I will take it out. I will ask for it. But here is like, uh, let's try it. And let's try, let's try uh, it. Because sometimes I feel like even talking in Japanese, um, because the pronunciation or a lot of things, mm -hmm. they maybe they don't understand me. And mm -hmm. then it's like they get, uh, I, I, sometimes huh? I like nervous or whatever. And I'm like, you know, that's okay. Put, uh, it, put, put it everything. That's uh, okay. I will, uh, I will, I will do mm, it myself. <laughs> I see, I see. Mm -hmm. Like if you're picky, it's mm -hmm. going to be... Mm. Uh, okay. Is there any Japanese thing, like mm -hmm. a material or me mentality or anything uh, you would like to bring back to your country if possible? From uh, food or... Oh, in, in, any, anything. Anything. Yeah, culture or the things or... Uh, yeah. Or well, idea, we're taking culture in, or... Some games. Yeah, some, some game. games were yeah. taken some because uh -huh. uh, from here uh, that maybe they uh, they were released here but not in Spain and they are difficult to get hmm. like hmm. Uh, or very expensive to get and here if you know where to look for you hmm. can yeah, take that's that. really cheap yeah hmm. Hmm. So did and you, you know go... for I, mean, hmm. I, I always take food because I the love tea. like hmm. my friends love it love them so I always yeah. try to take uh, food and yeah, there's know. some kind of sauces and and stuff mm. like that Sauce. that I would put on on the on the, yeah, on the yeah, luggage yeah. to go back, go back yeah. home because they like really great. Yeah, wow. mm. the sauce, the variety of sauces. 
The barbecue, yeah. yeah. The barbecue yeah, is really great. Yeah, they are so good. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time. It was very fun talking to you. Okay.